Hello, welcome back. We are looking at the analysis tool and so far we have done some analysis and make some data, make some sense about some of the data that we got. Okay, so now in this video we learn how to report it to the upper management. So one thing that, you know, once once I, uh, you know, get my, you know, get my graphs and all those things, I have two options. I can create a report from the load runner, you know, provided templates okay say for example this is my HTML report and I store it somewhere and it is going to and, and this is how I'm going to generate an HTML report based on the analysis that I did in my analysis session okay and that report is going to look like this and here everything is self content so most of the time it may happen that you have to write your own report your own custom report so here is the one that I generally do okay I make an executive summary and executive summary I I basically summarize what are the key issues that I uncovered during the test so here maybe one of the key issue that the response time for the browse lesson is, is high compared to other transactions and I also plan to address any unknowns I think at this time I don't have any unknowns but if there is any unknowns that I will add, I will, I'll put this thing that all these things needs to be investigated further notice that you never ever get a performance report that is going to be completely ready in every sense you should always you know in a, in a real life you, may, you might always have some issues that needs to be addressed or investigated later so that is the first thing second thing is that workload the next is the workload description what kind of scenario that I have tested for the transaction mix okay so remember that 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 pie chart whatever I used to draw a lot of time is that I am doing 45 percentage of browse lesson and so on that was your uh, specification okay so that is a session that you should give what things that you have tested and also the next thing is that system under test do a complete diagram that you know what kind of test you know how is your load generators are what kind of hardware what kind of software on on which that you, you run your test and a deployment description that what is the CPU power what is the what is the memory available on those machines so this basically basically give you uh, these three things so basically these two things together is going to pretty much describe what is the test that you are doing and then is the result and you run the test execution and here is a result and the result is pretty much is going to follow whatever we got from the graphs so here like you now I want to I want to give a graph for the virtual user statistics because the first thing that a user wants to see that you know whatever you 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 claim here that you are going to run actually you are getting those things or not so therefore what I'm going to do I'm going to give a user statistics and also here a transaction distribution like right? because the transaction distribution will tell me that if whatever I whatever I, I whatever I decided in my workload spec if that thing is 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 being actually happening or not to give those to give those graphs here because you know these things I, I want to represent represent them I want to put graphs here so either I can get the snapshot of this report whatever I generated or what I can do I can essentially go here to the running view users and I can get the graph data okay so if I click on this graph data then it's going to give me this data I can export this thing to Excel and then I can produce my own custom report all right so that is how I will come up with all those you know graphs whatever I required and these are the three things that I basically may must for all of my all of my test and addition to that I might do some more tests like you know for example if it's a database selected thing I need to probably figure out using uh, you know some instrumentation from database which SQL are not performing okay one and also like you know if it's a like say for example a C code then by using different tools I can probably figure out which is the hot function in the code right so there are tools like vtune and then in in Java world that is something called jprobe and all these tools are going to give me you know you know where are those those issues are there so basically you know the, the this test this this basically this report should tell somebody you know when you know when somebody is reading this report he basically makes sense of the data that we are providing okay and why you know and this part is really you know you know one of the most important thing that this is where you are concluding something based on your test 
okay and also you can give some suggestion for architectural change like say for example the browse lesson that we saw that is taking so much time because it's a lot of data in it right so therefore instead of instead of loading everything because you know whenever somebody is going to you know look at the browse uh, thing you know basically let's say for example just load a page for this thing and by the time when i scroll to this page then i then i can reload incrementally okay so in that case it will be the the the, the page is going to load faster and also we're going to going to impact less load on the server okay so that is that is one of the you know architectural change that probably i could give okay and then finally i need to conclude you know what kind of things needs to be investigated further and any other concern that 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 i need to uh, i need to get so basically this report is going to be everything self content and everything can be read, can be read just without referring to anything else okay and uh, this is how uh, you can complete your analysis thank you